Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley. In today's video, I'm redoing my room. I used to live in an apartment downtown, but I recently moved to a fixer upper with my brother. My style back then was more boho girl. You know, let's just roll back the clip of my old room so you can see it. But I wanted to go, oh, someone called me. No one called me. But I wanted to go from more like boho to more adult and minimal kind of vibe. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so right now. And let's get into the video. <laughs> getting just the last minute stuff for the room. There's a few more things, fam, that need to be got gotten, that need to be, typically I'm looking for a tray from Crate and Barrel. So I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I have such decision fatigue when it comes to picking pillows. The world comes crashing down when I have to make a decision on a pillow. Like I literally cannot decide between these two. And so because I can't decide, I'm just not gonna make a decision. Thank you for helping me with this video. They call me Mr. Tips. Smile is really blind and I hope you can tone it down some But now that I got close, I really don't even mind it Predictable Of course I come up to you just because you're so beautiful Talk about how your beauty is so damn But listening to the words that you're saying and how you're saying It's for drawing me in closer But I should probably pull away That's all I wanna say today Just carry on your sweet way It's finally time for the tour. I'll link everything in the description below, but if there's anything that I miss, make sure you comment down below so I can help you out. First, let's do an overview of the room.
Alrighty, starting at the door, we walk in and let's start with this mirror, shall we? I was looking for an arch mirror for five ever and I finally found one on Amazon. I really love it. The only thing that's rough is that I'm very tall. So y'all are gonna laugh. Like, I hope I just can make you laugh right now. Look at, look at that. Like, I am so tall. I'm gonna link one on, that's from West Elm, that is like a lot taller. Next is this plant from Target. Now, this area, I'm really excited about. Like, I'm really excited about this area. So I was looking for a wood dresser for so long. This one is from Wayfair, and I positively love it. It's really heavy, so just warning you, like, you're gonna need some help putting it together. Thankfully, you good, bro? You're sincerely okay. Everything is genuinely going to be okay. Like, I promise. Time for the camera. Smile. Okay, you're fine. Anyway, this lamp, I actually don't know where it's from. I'm so sorry. These candlesticks are, I don't know where they're from. I literally got them from my mom's basement. This tray I got from Crate and Barrel. I was looking for a white marble tray and I found the exact one. I was so happy about it. I have like my cross necklace, which I get questions from y'all about this a lot. And I got this from my dad, so I don't exactly know where it's from, but um, I really love it. I'm sorry that's not helpful. And then just have like earrings in here. I definitely want to get like another thing on here that I could put my earrings in, but right now I'm just laying out my jewelry. I have this Jisoo hair oil because I just wanted to be like that girl and just have this hair oil. I have some perfume, some room spray. With these, there's a similar one from Urban Outfitters that I'm going to link for you, so don't worry. This one is like really struggling, but. All right, this mirror. This mirror is from Target. I was looking for a circular mirror for so long and they have great ones. Definitely really like that. This, I found just so much inspiration from Pinterest. I was seeing all these palm leaves everywhere on top of dressers and I was like, okay, this needs to be a thing on my dresser. So I got these palm leaves, these are from Wayfair. And then I just put this like little flower. I don't even know where this is from. This, this vase is from, I don't know. Oh, this vase is from my friend. She gave it to me because I needed a vase. This vase is actually from Target. So if you're looking for a clear vase, Target is the way to go. Okay, now this little corner. We have this chair, which was from the last room tour, but it's in this one too. I love this chair. It's so comfortable. Like, it's so comfortable. I love it. I love it so much. It's becoming my just little safe haven corner. Chair is from World Market. Blanket is from Amazon. Now, this pillow, I just wanted to add more texture in this area. I added this West Elm pillow, and then I just have my prayer journal, which I'll link that in the description below. I have my Bible, which, y'all, it's literally falling apart. <sighs> yeah, this has been through war. And then I just have, like, another Bible. And then this shaker table is from, it's from Target. But this is just, like, my little reading corner where I read my Bible every single day. These curtains, I'm not really sure where they're from, but I'm not obsessed with them. So I don't even know if I'd recommend them, but this is where I wanna just be honest about living in a literal fixer upper. So you're probably like, okay, Ashley, what do you mean by you live in a fixer upper? My mom flips homes for a living. This is one of the places that she has flipped. That means that there are a couple of kinks and one of these things is my broken window. I literally have a crack in my window. Is this something we love? No. Is it, is it okay for now? Yes. I will remember this forever. In the summer months, this was like unbearable. I had to have two fans on in this room plus a AC unit in the other room that would like blow into my room. It was really sad. So anyway, I just want to show y'all like the real side of living in a fixer upper. And I also want to show you like my room isn't perfect. Okay, next to this little sweet angel. This plant is from Whole Foods, I think. I don't even know you guys, but so I'm like really surprised it hasn't died yet. Can we just, can we just take a moment? All right, fam, next we have my bed space. So we have, again, I'm just getting so real with you. We have this comforter, which it needs to go. Like this comforter, I didn't have time to get one, but I think Toby just like ripped through it. And it's really hard having a dog because they get 
the white comforter is not white anymore. Moving forward, we have these pillows, which I just got some of these from Target, and I added just like the four pillow thing because I wanted it to be more minimal and not have like a ton of throw pillows. I just wanted to be like minimal girl. This headboard I have from Wayfair. We have these three pieces of art, which I was looking everywhere. They're from Desenio. The frames are all from Amazon, linking those below as well. And I just like, I love this so much. It just makes the room super warm and cozy. And I love that they're above the bed. And I also love that there's a little bit of French Parisian vibe because I am French. So it just feels right. All right, next we have this little nook, which I love. We have this lamp, which is from Restoration Hardware. My mom got it from like an RH refurbishing place. So I don't know if I'll be able to link it, but I will try to. Next we have this diffuser, which it has like Definitely a lot of fingerprints on it. I love putting it on at night with some essential oils while I'm reading. Um, this is just the Alexa alarm clock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she thought I was talking to her. This is the Alexa alarm clock. <laughs> alarm. alarm is not set. I know, I know, Alexa, I know. This is a really fun candle that I really like and just was seeing all over Pinterest and I was thinking I need to bite the bullet and just get one of my own. This little side table is from Wayfair. This Bible is just a really pretty aesthetic Bible from Hosanna Revival. I literally love it so much. I get all of my Bible resources and materials from there. Just have some essential oils. Uh, this tree fam is from Amazon. It's just a cute little olive tree. And then this little thingy is definitely some boho-ness to it, which you know. Maybe we're still a little boho from Amazon. Next we have just in these drawers, I have the books that I'm reading and then I have like a battle card. I have lighters. This one is going through it, but I love that you can charge it. It's just really nice. I have my glasses, some hand cream, some pens, because I love annotating my books at night. And then I've literally never slept in this, but it's just for whatever reason, always stayed at my bedside table. It's gonna remain because it's cute, I guess. All right, next is some journals. I have so many journals. I love journaling, writing, just like making notes of everything. I have these two candles that just smell amazing, but they're fall candles and it's just not, it's not time yet to light them. Cause I know once I start lighting fall candles, I'm, I'm never gonna go back, you know what I'm saying? Okay, next we have this little bed skirt, which is like really just short. This is from Target. And then this is a bunch of, this, this is, this rug is from West Elm and I am obsessed with it. It's probably one of my favorite pieces in this room. It just makes the room super warm, super cozy. I don't have a prayer closet anymore because my, like, I don't have a walk-in closet anymore. I just have like a bunch of notes on here about what I wanna focus on for this month. So, okay, now we have my closet. There's really not much to this. I need to organize. As y'all can tell, it's like kind of a jank closet. Like this just isn't, there's not much going on. I would really love for there to be like something closing it. Part of me living in a fixer upper is having some jankiness. Like I, there's a bit of jankiness and that's okay. Like, can we turn this on? Oh my gosh. That's like, looks like a horror movie. Anyway, next we have some, I just have shoes back here. I honestly need to clean this, you guys. Like it's not even cute. But this little basket is from Target and I really love it. I just put like sweatshirts here and when I wake up in the morning and I'm about to go get my coffee, I'll just put on a sweatshirt. Okay, this is one of my friend's dresses that I need to get back to her. This is just a couple of bins. Like I have hats here. I have bathing suits there, which I need to swap out because it's not gonna be summer anymore. Some jeans that I stuffed in here, some towels and some more tote bags back there. And then I have my, I have my wicker, I have my, and then back here y'all, this is like the remnants of my prayer closet. It's back here because I feel like if I were to have like a prayer closet back here, it wouldn't really be that great. I kind of am scared. I don't think we need to have a closet to pray every time. Maybe we just have like a space on the ground or maybe we just pray beside our bed. I don't know, I've been praying in that chair 
or just on the ground and it's really been fine. Whenever I wanna revisit like my goals or just my focuses or my prayer requests or just different things I'm gonna be praying for and focusing on for the season, I will get this bulletin out typically on my Sabbath and I'll just look at it. The different things that I wanna focus on, just the different scriptures that I wanna to cling to, um, goals, habits that I wanna focus on. I have my goals for 2022. I'm one of those people that looks at their goals like every single day or every single week. I'm obsessed with goals. All right, I'm getting out of here. I am so excited for all the future videos that we're gonna film in here. If you've made it to this point in the video, make sure to comment this emoji down below and go follow me on Instagram at Ashley Hetherington if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I love y'all so much and I'll see you in the next video.